Bar Bending Schedule Basics 1. What is bar bending schedule? 2. Diameter of reinforcement bars 3. Concrete cover 4. Hook length 5. Bend length and development length 6. Lap length 7. Crank length 8. Weight of steel bar 9. Spacing of reinforcement 10. Number of bars and stirrups What is bar bending schedule? Bar bending schedule commonly known as BBS is one of the most important terms in civil engineering because it plays a vital role in building construction. Like other building materials, estimation of steel is also required for constructing a building and here, BBS comes with an easy solution. The bar bending schedule provides the reinforcement calculation and some other important details such as bar mark, bar diameter, bar shape, cutting length, number of bars, the bar's weight, the total steel weight, etc. so that we can order the required amount of steel in advance. Diameters of reinforcement bars. Steel bars are available in a range of diameters, including 06 mm, 08 mm, 010 mm, 012 mm, 016 mm, 020 mm, 025 mm, 028 mm. Furthermore, we may have customized diameters obtained straight from the industry according on our requirements. A steel bar's typical length is usually kept at 12 meters for ease of transportation, although this may also be adjusted according to the bar bending schedule, which is frequently done in large projects. Concrete cover. The concrete cover can be defined as the distance between the outer surface of the concrete to the inserted reinforcement. Covering is provided to arrest the attack of corrosion. Reinforcement is prone to corrosion and fire in atmospheric conditions. If the proper cover isn't implemented then there is more chance of corrosion and cracks in hardened RCC. Slabs, 15 mm. Grade slab, 20 mm. Flat slab, 20 mm. Beams, 25 mm. Strap beam, 50 mm. Shear wall, 25 mm. Staircase, 15 mm. Column, 40 mm. Footing, 50 mm. Raft foundation top, 50 mm. Raft foundation bottom, sides, 50 to 75 mm. Retaining wall, 20 to 25 mm. Hook length. In general, hooks are added at the two ends of the rebar in stirrups or ties. Generally, hook length is taken as 9D for one side. Hook length equals 9D. The total length of stirrups equals total length of the bar plus 2 times hook length. For two hooks, equals L plus 2 times 9D equals L plus 18D, where L is length of the bar for the stirrup. D is diameter of the bar. A purpose of hooks. 1. Stop the seismic motions. 2. Avoid having the concrete crack outward. 3. They also stop steel from slipping off the concrete. 4. They securely hold the steel and maintain the longitudinal bars. The main function of a hook is to develop anchorage. Now the question arises, why is there a requirement for anchorage? The tension reinforcement should not be slipped from its position, otherwise, the purpose of providing the reinforcement will not be served. So to develop sufficient bond strength between steel and concrete, the development length requirements must be satisfied. Now there may be cases where the required length is not available to meet the requirements of development. In those cases, anchorages may be provided in the form of hooks. Bend length. The bar is bent at the column end to tie with the footings. This extra length for the bend is called bend length. Bend length is generally considered as 16D. Bend length equals L plus 16D plus 16D. Development length. Development length is a vital point in the bar bending schedule. Development length is the length of the bar required for transferring the stress into the concrete. In simple words, the quantity of the rebar length that is actually required to be embedded into the concrete to create the desired bond strength between steel and concrete and furthermore to produce the required stress for the steel in that area. Development length equals D times sigma S over 4 tau B D, where D equals diameter of the bar. Sigma S equals stress in the bar at the section considered as the design load. Tau B D equals design bond stress. Lap length. Lap length is an important term in BBS. Lap length is the overlapping length of two bars side by side, giving the required design length. In the RCC structure, if the length of a bar is not sufficiently available to make design length, lapping is done. Suppose we need to build a 20 meters tall building. But is there any 20 meters bar available in the market? No, the maximum length of rebar is usually 12 meters, so we need to join two bars to get 20 meters bar. Lap length for tension members equals 40 D. Lap length for compression members equals 50 D. D equals diameter of bars. Crank length. 
Generally, bars are bent near the support at an angle of 45 degrees. The angle of the bend may also be 30 degrees in shallow beams. The purpose of bending near the support is firstly to resist the negative bending moment which occurs in the region of the support and secondly to resist the shear force which is greater at the support. Crank bars are mostly provided in slabs. Crank length equals d over sine of 45 degrees minus d over tangent of 45 degrees equals 1. 42d minus d equals 0. 42d. So, crank length equals 0. 42d. Where, d equals clear height of the bar equals thickness of slab minus top cover plus bottom cover. Weight of steel bar. To prepare b, b, s at site you need to calculate the weight of the steel first. W equals d square over 162 times L where W equals weight of bars, L equals length of bars in meters, D equals diameter of the bar. Example, calculate the weight of 25 meters long 16 millimeters bar. W equals 16 square over 162 times 25 equals 40 kilograms. Spacing of reinforcement. Spacing is the distance between two reinforcement bars. The spacing is provided to have a properly anchored reinforcement. That's why it's mandatory to cover the steel bars with concrete. Minimum spacing equals maximum size of aggregate plus 5 millimeters. Number of bars. The number of bars is calculated by using the formula. Number of bars equals opposite length over spacing plus 1. For example, if we have a slab of dimensions L, X, and L, Y. Number of bars along L, X equals L, Y over spacing plus 1. Number of bars along L, Y equals L, X over spacing plus 1. Stirrups. Number of stirrups is calculated by using the formula. Number of stirrups equals actual length of column or beam over spacing plus 1. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you aren't missing out on any of the videos I upload. Also, I would very much appreciate it. If you gave the video a thumbs up, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed that and it has gotten some way to help you. I sincerely hope you understand bar bending schedule basics. Thank you so much, have a great day.